no matter what we were faced with, no matter what obstacle was put in our way, we remain positive and focused on the issues that matter to our community. Tampa has elected a new mayor. Jane Castor will take the oath of office on May 1st. But her very first order of business today, sitting down with 10 News reporter Eric Glasser for her first one-on-one -on -one interview since becoming mayor-elect. Not of bad. Good first order of business. <laughs> we'll take that. So you were there covering the election last yes. night. Castor won by a really wide margin. Huge margin. 73% to David Straz's 27%. That's big. Leaving no doubt. So when I asked Castor about that this morning, she said that she hopes it sends a clear message locally and nationally that Tampa is not the place for negative campaigning. She's looking forward, that she told me, to building on the success of her predecessor. Of course, that's Mayor Bob Buckhorn. Tremendous opportunity over the next few years, she says, in the areas of transportation, affordable housing, environmental sustainability. Although she was supported heavily by developers, Castor says she is in nobody's pocket. She's prepared to lead, she says, on day one, given her experience as Tampa's former police chief. And of course, she is well aware of the attention that comes with being Tampa's first openly gay mayor. Um, that's something that I'm used to. You know, the same sort of statement was made when I was appointed as the police chief. It's the first female police chief. And so uh, it's, you know, it's fine with me. I, I always say that uh, at the end of my tenure, I want to be remembered as a good mayor, not the first gay mayor. But with that said, the significance of being the first is not lost on me. You know, being a role model for other young people out in the community is something that I take very seriously. And a nice personal aside, Jane Castor shared with me, she says that last night when she got home from her campaign watch party, her neighbors had put her campaign signs all over her lawn with a bunch <laughs> of other decorations to celebrate her victory. That, she said, is the sort of thing that makes Tampa such a great place to live. You'll see more of my one-on-one -on -one interview with Tampa's new mayor-elect, Coming up later today on 10 News. That's a cool way to celebrate when you it get was. home from a long night. Three city council seats were also decided yesterday. You can check that out at WTSP.com slash Ion Politics.